Okay, so this first video is going to be on sound generation. So we're going to split this video into two parts. Uh, there's going to be one that we're going to do now that's going to be on oscillators. And then there's going to be another video that's going to be on what we call sample-based instruments. So, uh, so when we're first building a synth, the first thing that we want to do is we want to talk about making a sound and how does that sound uh, get made. So Aaron, can you just tell them a little bit about what an oscillator actually is? Uh, yeah. Um, so there's a few different types of synth, right? Uh, and if we're doing one that's based on oscillators, um, it starts out with like a sine wave and you just think about what can we do with a sine wave or how do we stack them up or what other kinds of waves do we want to use? Um, an oscillator is like what you see in the upper uh, top left here on the screen, right? So this is a square wave and they all have their own different kind of sound. Um, there's an FFT in the middle where you can see, you know, so this one is made up of all these little sine waves, essentially. Um, but step one in building a synth, uh, if you're gonna build this type of synth, synth one, that, one that generates and uses like oscillators as opposed to a sample-based synth, um, is to uh, think about how, how rich you want your oscillators to be because they have, uh, you can put a lot of features into them. If you have a very simple oscillator, you can start off with just a sine wave and go piece by piece after that and make it uh, considerably more complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so Aaron just touched on a couple really key things. Uh, the, the first thing and the most simple thing is that when we hear sound, sound is a wave. So, so it's, it's a wave that is basically vibrating the speakers or the headphones uh, that, you're, that you're listening uh, to this video through. Uh, and then if we, what we could do is we could take, we could take these really complicated sounds, such as my dog on the, on the, uh, on her squeaky toy, as she always does in these videos. <laughs> and we can break, watch. Yeah. And we can break them down into simple rudimentary sounds. Uh, so such as a square wave or a sine wave and, um, She's breaking my concentration. That's all right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna break your concentration too. <laughs> so so uh, so you can break them down into the the most simple and rudimentary waves. So you have simple waves such as a square wave, uh, and you can see that um, Aaron's going through a couple different selections of, of a couple different types of waves. And as Aaron touched on, the most simple type of wave that you can make is a sine wave. Uh, and, and a sine wave is what we call a pure tone because it doesn't have, if you, if you take a look, if, can you just go back to the sine wave again? Yeah, I'm doing, I'm turning the volume down on the other two so we can hear it too. Yeah. So, so, so a sine wave, if you just look at it, you can see that the, that the curve of it is very smooth. It doesn't have any, um, what, what you would call harmonics. Uh, so harmonics is what adds the kind of distortion, uh, distortion to the, to uh, a wave and makes it uh, a more complicated um, type of signal. So, um, and what we can do is we can, this, this goes a little bit too deep for, the, for this video, but uh, what we can say is that all, uh, all sounds, all signals uh, can be broken down into uh, a series of sine waves that are oscillating at different frequencies. So every sound, even the sound of my voice, uh, can be broken down into just a summation, uh, uh, perhaps infinite summation of sine uh, of sine waves oscillating at different frequencies. So, um, so that's what an oscillator is. You are you are getting philosophical on us. Yes, yes. Here, I scaled um, so, back for you so you can see. This is yeah. way with, you know, single spike there. Um, so this is your FFT. This is your spectrum. And we could do a whole video on what that means. But uh, this is showing us what sine waves make up the sound. So in this case, it's just one sine wave. So it's just this one spike, right? But we can start, um, if we do something like this, where we make kind of a warped sine wave, then all of a sudden a few extra harmonics come into your, your sound. It gets more complicated, it gets deeper, it gets richer when you add harmonics. Um, if you add too many harmonics, um, you, can get a, you can get just really buzzy, you know, like um, Atari kind of early video game stuff where it's like they hadn't figured out how to do the anti-aliasing yet. So they did these like pure waves that would have jumps in them like that. 
and that'll give you these overly high sort of uh, tinny sounds. Yeah, great. So that is what an oscillator is. It's just a wave that is making a sound. Back in uh, back in the day, uh, in the days of hardware sense, the first ones, it would just be an electrical wave. It's an actual electrical an actual electrical electrical wave, um, but this is emulated in software. So um, that's it. Is there yeah, we should we should back up. This is like your Moogs of the world, right? This is like your early uh, all the synths from the '80s, like everything, like an old Casio, like any of those ones that have a fake. You you put it on like guitar and you play it, and you're like, well, that doesn't really sound like a guitar, right? Um, that's because it was all like this sort of stuff. We based it on we're going to add up sine waves and we're going to get as close to a guitar, clarinet, whatever as we can. Uh, those early synths, they didn't quite get there, but what they did get was like all the really cool synths of the 80s, right? 70s, 80s, like when you think of early cool like synthesizers and modular synths and everything else, that's this tech. That's taking sine waves and things related to them like sawtooth waves, square waves, all that sort of thing and blowing that up. Like how much can we do with that? How many changes can we make? All that stuff and can i show you the um can i show you something else josh of course i'll show you the um hard hard sync right is something that they did a lot of those early synths also did where if you have you have one wave like you have a sine wave we'll go back to a sine wave uh and if if that sine wave resets every once in a while so we're gonna have it reset a little more often right the whole sine wave looks like this this is the, the pitch you're going to hear because mm -hmm. this is the period, this, the whole screen, right? But it's going to jump a couple times inside of there. So you have this higher oscillator that's also in there, right? This mm -hmm. is when you look at old synths and you see like master and slave, right? I know not politically correct, so they have other phrases for them now on the newer synths. Mm -hmm. But that's the way this was. There was the master synth was the one that reset um, the other synth every time it rolled over. Mm -hmm. And as you can hear, like it, dramatically changes you can see all the overtones up here right dramatically changes the sound so when we start messing around with hard syncing especially in combination with you know some of this other stuff filters and duty cycles and things that we'll talk about you can get dramatically like weird sounds so those two things kind of hard syncing some idea of like duty cycle or warping a sine wave um and then Either you're going to have an additive synth where you just add up sine waves, or you're going to have a subtractive synth where you take the, the, the pure kind of naive square wave that just does this, or, or sawtooth or whatever else, and sort of subtract out some of the harmonics. Um, and we don't have to get into like the details of how that's done, but those are the two flavors of early synths, right? So that's, that's where all of this stuff comes from. And then from there we get, you know, we can talk about there's like physical modeling and uh, other types of synth too. But um, that's a lot of what, what, uh, what goes into the oscillators. Great. And I think that's a great point for us to, to end things. So what we'll do for this next video is talk about sample based, uh, oscillators and sound based, uh, sample based generation.